Hey, uh, this is Austin just recent reaching out to, to show uh, another cool uh, tip that I ran across uh, when installing Windows 11 with WDS. So typically uh, admins have used WDS to what they call Pixie boot uh, from the network and install Windows. So typically uh, with Pixie boot, you don't have to have uh, any USB or um, um, CD-ROM uh, type of media in the computer to install Windows, which ca can make it nice, especially if you are installing um, mul like uh, Windows on multiple PCs or just not want to have to use the media at all. So with uh, Windows 11, I ran into a scenario where uh, it's saying that it isn't supported. And I come across this article here that um, uh, Microsoft has published talking about uh, uh, deprecation notice saying that uh, WDS, Windows Deployment Services, is uh, being partially uh, depreciated. Uh, uh, so that means that uh, when you attempt to use uh, boot WIM and install WIM with WDS, it uh, it'll basically pop up this this uh, uh, window and it'll stop you dead in your tracks and you can't do nothing else but reboot. So basically, it's uh, using uh, this like both the boot and install for um, Windows 11 is a, basically a dead end. Now it does talk about like some other workarounds or essentially alternatives such as Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager and Microsoft Deployment Toolkit, or MDT. There is also third-party applications out there, but I'm not really gonna uh, talk about them right now. So, one uh, workaround I found uh, that we can get into right now that uh, will actually, uh, you can still install Windows 11 with WDS. So on this server, I have uh, WDS RE installed. If you don't have it installed, you can add the role and uh, add role and features. <clears throat> but since we are getting installed, we're just going to go ahead and launch it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, T into this here. Uh, the areas that we're going to be concerned with is like the boot images, which is where our uh, boot whims are going to be stored and install images where our install whims are going to be stored. Uh, drivers could be of interest if you're in, uh, if you have to have drivers for uh, specific reasons. Uh, VMware, the, for example, the like the VMware Pair Virtual SCSI controller needs a driver, and uh, also if you're using like VM VMX NAT3 uh, network adapter, that also needs a driver typically. So I won't uh, be using the VMX NAT3. Uh, since I use the E1000 for my server, but uh, we'll get into it later for the drivers. So the boot images will have, uh, we'll go ahead and go out and grab our boot image. So it'll ask for a file location and we'll go ahead and hit browse. So typically it's a good idea to have um, stuff like this separate from C drive so you don't fill up your C drive depending on how many images you have out here you may have um, take up to 50 gig or may take up to 100 gig it all, really all depends on how much data you put out there but these images do take up a little space if you're only putting say three of them out there it'll probably be under 50 gig easily so I have the stage area that I put um, the extracts from the Windows 10 and Windows 11 ISOs. So you can either mount the ISOs and grab the data or do what I did here to make it easier. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the boot WIM from the Windows 10 and go to sources and the boot WIM. So and then click next. And we'll just say uh, Windows setup here. I don't have any 32-bit, uh, so I'm not worried about it saying X64. And click next. All right, so it's been added, and we just click finished. So we got our boot images set up here. 
Uh, we're going to go up to our install images. We don't have anything in here yet, but if we right click and uh, add install image. So it'll ask us for image group uh, since we don't have one set up or yet. So typically with image groups, you want to have stuff kind of separated uh, with like say uh, major versions of uh, Windows 10 have those separated or Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows Server have them separated because you really uh, don't want to mix them. So I'll just do Windows 11. And I'm going to hit browse. And uh, we don't want the Windows 10, which is our previous area. We want to go grab our Windows 11 install files. Next. So here's this thing that uh, might throw you off a little bit. It says Windows 10, but it really is Windows 11. Uh, typically, I won't use all these uh, versions of Windows, so I'm just going to uncheck the ones I don't use. So let's go uh, keep the Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Home. And uh, I always uncheck the default name description. Uh, that being because it creates like a super long name. So let's uh, we're going to name it to something shorter. And also so that we have the Windows 11 label on it. So here I'm going to do just Windows 11. And copy and paste the same thing and next and then uh, same thing with here I'm going to um, do Windows 11 and click next and it's just a summary and we're gonna click next so this will take a while so I'm just gonna fast forward all right uh, looks like everything is done and it's complete uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click finish so now we have uh, two different versions of Windows 11 here. And then we have our uh, boot images ready to go. So let's go ahead and um, try to um, see if this uh, Pixie boot is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go up here, right click uh, Create VM. And let's close out this console window. And then I'm going to click Next. And yeah, let's go ahead and your name, say like test win 11. And Windows. And uh, Windows 10 64 bit. Now it doesn't really know about Windows 11 yet, but this version of ESXi host. So Windows 10 64 bit is fine. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, space from our data store. And I'm going to go ahead and set up some uh, system specs here. We'll add four CPU, eight gigs of RAM, so 70 gigs of uh, hard drive space. We're going to add the VMware Pair Virtual, which uh, we'll show you in a bit to how to add a driver for that if you guys happen to run across it. But if you uh, don't use this, then you just go ahead and skip forward and click next and finish. All right, so let's uh, park off. And we got our test Win 11 here. And power on. So we'll have to go ahead and hit F12 here real quick. Otherwise it uh, won't uh, pop into uh, the Pixie boot. All right, uh, we have our window that's up here for, for, for Windows deployment services. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. It does ask you for authentication uh, since this WTS server or WDS server is uh, set up with the Active Directory. So we're going to authenticate now. And uh, from here, we're going to uh, select our Windows 10 Pro. All right, so this is the area here that I was talking about where we'll have the little drivers for the VMware uh, Pair Virtual uh, SCSI controller. 
So in order to load these drivers, uh, all we have to do is uh, mount the VMware tools. So we can go over here to our VM and we can install VMware tools. So with that, it will uh, mount uh, a CD-ROM of the VMware tools and we just hit load driver, browse. We got our D drive here, program files, VMware, VMware tools, drivers, PV SCSI, 1.8, AMD64. So this is the driver that we need here, and hit next. All right, so now it detects our, detects our uh, hard drive. So we just uh, create and partition it, hit apply, and OK. And next. So from here it is your typical Windows uh, installation window. So this really doesn't differ too much uh, from Windows 10, Windows 11. So we're going to just go ahead and uh, move forward from here and uh, so you guys see the other window. All right, uh, after install, we're going to go ahead and uh, restart now. All right, looks like uh, our Windows 11 is finally coming up now, so we can uh, start the install process. So we're just going to click uh, United States. U.S. and skip. Accept our license agreement. Uh, we can name, let's name it the same as our uh, test one eleven. Next. All right. So now we raise up our account. Uh, for our cases, it's just going to be for personal use. Click next. Uh, so we're not going to do uh, a Microsoft account. Uh, if you wanted to do a Microsoft account, you can. But uh, in sign-on options, uh, specifically for Pro, they allow you to have an offline account. So we're just going to use that for testing purposes. And skip. Test. All right, answer um, security questions. And if you really want to not forget those, of course, I probably should try to be sincere about them or have some type of code where you know what they are. Uh, you could turn, leave the privacy stuff or you can turn that stuff off. Uh, it's up to you. I'm going to click accept. So we're uh, now in uh, Windows 11, uh, fully installed with uh, Pixie Boot and WDS. So this process does work for now. Um, so hopefully uh, it will work uh, for quite a while longer. So it is possible that this process won't work in the future. So at least this gives you some uh, good stepping ground to uh, slowly migrate into some other type of deployment services um, or some other software that you'd like to use. So um, just stay tuned. Uh, I will, uh, I'll be posting some uh, cool tips and uh, cool videos of uh, stuff that I'm working on. Uh, stuff that I dabble with. So not only that I uh, do some uh, Windows, I also do some Linux stuff too. So um, there should be a little variety of everything out there. So if you have any questions, uh, leave comments in the video. Uh, thanks again for watching.